Peter, thanks so much for being with me. Thank you, nice to be here. Yeah, so I hear yeah. you're the CEO of Safaricom, which that is, is correct. amazing. <laughs> You've been there for the last five years, since yeah. 2020, but you have 25 years of experience in business. Yes. So tell me more about your work and uh, what you do. So, yes, so I joined Safaricom, uh, which is the largest uh, communication business in the region, and also pioneer of M-Pesa, uh, one of the most uh, uh, known, well-known mobile money platform. Uh, but yes, as you say, I have been uh, in business for more than 25 years. Uh, I worked in finance, in, uh, in uh, price water house. I worked in consumer goods with Diageo in Africa and also in Europe. And now in technology, running the most successful technology business in the, in the East African region. Wow. That's amazing. So yes. you've been in tech, you've been in consumer goods, yes. and now you're in, in a, or I missed the first one. Uh, so, so finance, finance and consulting. Finance, yeah. tech, mm -hmm. and agriculture. So yeah. a lot of different uh, industries you have your hat in. Mm -hmm. Someone's looking to invest in Africa. Yeah. Uh, what sector would you, would you advise them, being that you have this experience? So the way to think about investment, and, and it's, it's, it's good that I've worked in various places, including a number of geographies. I've worked in East, in West. I lived in West for seven years. In, in, in Nigeria. Nigeria, in Ghana. Uh, of course in East Africa and so on, is to think about uh, the population that will buy the product. Mm -hmm. uh, so Africa has more than 1.4 billion people, so population is important. Uh, the second is penetration of the category that you want to go into. So for example, uh, in telecommunication and all that, you've seen huge progress in the past uh, 15 years. Safaricom will be celebrating 25. In consumer goods, it's just about uh, the type of product you are offering. Mm -hmm. so, so I would say, uh, uh, technology is one, one big one, which mm -hmm. is a growth area in, in Africa and it's enabling all sectors of the economy. To be and connected. Uh, yeah, technology, because it is about using technology and innovation to solve a societal issue, whether that is in healthcare, in agriculture, mm -hmm. in manufacturing, in supply chain, in, in everything. Yes, yeah. Yeah, in consumer goods, it's, a, it's, a, it's about the category that uh, you, have, you have experience. Agriculture is a very big one because food security is, is a challenge. Uh, mining, there are some parts of Africa where mining... I heard uh, mining, mining earlier. What's, yeah. what's, why mining? Uh, mining, Africa has uh, some, of the high, uh, some of the largest deposits yeah. of, uh, for example, well, all the components that make renewable energy uh, that's, that's are in, in Africa, especially in DRC. Yes. Um, of course, we've had oil for a very long time, but I don't know how yeah, well we say, use oh, that. But yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. so agriculture, food security, yeah. I would say uh, technology, mm -hmm. uh, I would say anything that leverages the youth. We have uh, a mean age of around 20 years in Africa. Yes. So, so the youth, uh, empowering the youth is a very big thing. That's definitely uh, tech. Yeah, especially tech. Mm -hmm. um, and we are seeing that uh, to be a very powerful way, including enabling the youth to work on jobs uh, everywhere in the world, but working from, in, in the days of, in these days of working from home, yeah. of working, you can work from anywhere. Mm -hmm. We have 80,000 developers in Safaricom that work on the M-Pesa platform, wow. but actually they are not our employees. We just enable them through a platform we call Daraja in Swahili, it's a, like a bridge. Oh, uh, so they enable the businesses, they enable merchants, uh, they enable commerce. Wow. So. You didn't pick one. You said all three, which is which is still good. So, I would say so, I would say so, technology and food security. Okay, yeah. tech because, like you said, it can actually be effective in other different uh, sectors as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, So that's that's amazing. That's a good yeah, answer. Yeah, and you need to feed a large population. Yes. And uh, you, with all the droughts and floods and all yes. these things, food security is a is a, is a big component. Essential. Very yeah. well said. Mm -hmm. yeah. So talk to me about uh, this event that we're at. We're here at uh, Unstoppable Africa. Yes. Um, what brings you here? I know you were you were a speaker. Yes, so, so this week, uh, I've really enjoyed the week uh, in anger. Um, I, I, the, the three, a number of uh, elements that are picked. One is, uh, we are behind on SDGs. Uh, we need to accelerate progress. Uh, for, for me, that is, that's a big one. Mm -hmm. Safaricom's purpose is about transforming lives. Mm -hmm. We are involved in progressing society in a number of areas. Uh, so we have foundations, our own, commercial business around fintech, financial inclusion, and so on. So really progressing acceleration towards uh, SDGs. Like this week we talked about refugees, yes. SDG 10. Yeah. Um, so the, so I, I feel that is a, 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 an area of uh, focus. The second is technology and yeah. the power that technology has. And Africa can lead the way. We have a mean age of 19, 20 years. Yeah. Uh, we have a, 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 um, a digital savvy population. 
Uh, so technology can be a big enabler. And so you're uh, here to, yeah, to make yes. partnerships or to, to partnership to tell uh, people and and also partnership so and and uh, and making it happen because I think we, we we don't want just to talk. We want to make sure that going back, we ha we identify the right partners. And we make things happen. I like what you said because a lot of people are like, "Oh yeah, partnership here, partnership there." Okay, but like, okay, you talk, 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 but yes. then there's no implementation. So I like that you added that. Exactly. Added that. When it comes to you personally, uh, what do you want people to know about Africa? For me, the story that you hear, and I've lived abroad many times, the story you hear of Africa is of issues, of problems, of drought, and uh, all these disasters and so on. But for me, the story we should tell about Africa is of investment of hope of a young population that is ready. Uh, and that's why this whole theme of unstoppable Africa is so, is so key. And, and when you use technology, uh, you can solve anything. Uh, we created m uh, with Safaricom. It has now transcended uh, boundaries. We are in eight markets. We have 60 million customers, $1 billion of transactions every day. No big so, deal. So, no, no big deal. <laughs> and and, and uh, so therefore, we should tell these stories yes. to the world. We yes. should. Uh, uh, we, but we should also really ensure that we are also funding what we believe in, rather than expecting the funding will come from outside. And then the Very partnerships well with government between private sector and, and, and public sector that can allow Africa to be, uh, to be big. You know, we have Africa for, uh, free trade area. Uh, mm -hmm. the, we've talked about it this week. I think we, sh we need to progress Africa trade. Mm -hmm. uh, but so there's a lot of trade between Africa and, uh, and, and the rest of the countries, which is not bad, yeah. but we need to, to progress into Africa trade. In trade. Mm -hmm. Where is that? You said invest <coughs> in what we believe in. Yes, yeah, we exactly. can talk to outside countries and partnerships good, but invest yes. in what we believe in is yes, key too. Is Thanks for that added, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. added advice and added uh, word to, to mm -hmm. everyone. What is your commitment to making Africa unstoppable? So for me, at a, at a personal level, uh, is to have a stand uh, to create uh, impact uh, so that we combine technology and innovation to solve societal challenges every day. When I see us investing in uh, dealing with healthcare issues, uh, dealing with issues that are affecting agriculture, dealing with access to learning materials for, for kids, for me it is about ensuring that it's not just about technology, but it's technology for good and uh, doing good is good for business. Uh, so it's not about uh, separating between commercial and uh, sustainability. It's about combining the two to allow our kids in the future uh, uh, become and empower themselves uh, in, into the future. So as a leader who is in technology space, uh, it is about enabling uh, and using technology to enable uh, and, and transform lives.